For the past two months, the Preservation Erie Organization has been looking into historic places in the area on the verge of being demolished and lost forever. After receiving feedback from their own public nominations and conducting their own research and evaluations, they released a list of the top nine most endangered properties of Erie on Tuesday. The findings were based on the building's current condition, usability, and how long before it'll be torn down. We know that there are other buildings that are slated for demolition, but these are the nine based on whether or not we felt inclusion on the list could potentially result in a positive outcome for the building. Some of them are in relatively fair condition. Others are in very, very poor condition. Right now, we're hoping that in any way that these properties can stay standing, adaptively reusing them, working them into the developer's designs, fixing them up and making them a community resource, any of those things would be better than demolishing them. We're seeing probably more historic buildings being repurposed than I think probably ever before. There's amazing work happening in the downtown in the Lower State Street area. So we are seeing these historic buildings put to work for the community, which is ultimately the goal. A lot of times in terms of development, it's a lot cheaper just to level it. But in a lot of ways, they act as sort of a passive way for people in our community and our neighborhoods to experience history through our built history. And when that goes away, that opportunity to feel and understand the history of our city goes away too. We can't save every building. So what's important is that the community uh, kind of acknowledge or be part of the decision-making process and help to determine which buildings are too important for us to lose. We really feel like these nominations, these nine buildings, have really come from the community. They've been identified by the community as important places worth saving. Preservation Erie believes all nine buildings have the potential to serve their city in some way. But for now, they wait to see if anyone will step forward with the money and the idea to put any of these structures to use. For your Erie.com, I'm Spencer Lee.